feeling fine. I am fine too. I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for always supporting me. God bless you for your support. If you're new here, you are welcome. Please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. You won't regret subscribing. I promise you this. So today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you or I'm going to be giving advice to you who is looking for a white man for marriage, but also if you are here watching this video now, you are married, you are in a relationship, do not click off, just stick here. And at the end of this video, you are going to write us in the comments below the advice that I forgot to give, which will help other women out there. But today we are talking to those who are looking for a white man for marriage. And this advice, guys, it is not to break you. It is not to discourage you in your search for a white man for marriage. Not at all. This advice is to help you like open your eyes and be ready to enter in this relationship of interracial dating is to help you not being used is to help you not have those early divorces it is also to help you not to be left as a single mother or left with uncured diseases so this is a very important video watch it till the end and just enjoy this video number one advice that i'm giving you is that the white man is just the color it is just the color guys nothing special nothing strange and what matters most in a relationship is the person's behavior, the person's character. Because a white man can be a cheater, can be a womanizer, a white man can be inhuman, a white man can be very violent. Every bad thing you could imagine, even a white man can be that. So it is just the color. What matters is the person's behavior so do not ignore the red flags and think this man is a white man maybe he's going to change or maybe he cannot do this because he's a white man and ignore everything because you know a relationship is built in the beginning so if you ignore the red flags at the beginning of your relationship thinking this is the white man he won't cheat this is the white man he won't be a humanizer he won't be violent you are wrong it is just the color so the way you could start your relationship with a black man or any other man of any race everything that you could take into consideration you should not ignore them when you date a white man when you are looking for a white man for marriage make sure that you are very careful at the beginning of your relationship so that you build a very strong relationship that will last for long but if you ignore then later on you are going to be very very sorry for what you did and you will regret i'm going to be giving you an example story time <laughs> so me growing up in africa as an african lady as a tanzanian lady i grew up seeing men admiring women they see a beautiful woman passing they admire that woman they can whistle they can just some men say oh rich men really enjoy good things you know or other men can really talk to you that damn you are beautiful you know that admiring thing but i grew up knowing that this admiring thing of men looking at a woman admire and admire is only for black men it is only black men who do that but guess what i was wrong last summer we were in france and we wanted to have a romantic dinner <laughs> me and my husband so uh that hotel that we are in had two restaurants one was the inside restaurant and the other was the outside restaurant which is uh, along the sea when you sit outside the restaurant you have you get the sea view so we decided to sit outside so that you can get that sea breeze 
and enjoy our romantic dinner. So as we were seated, came a group of men, they were boys, uh, from 25 to 30 years. So they sat the next, the next table next to us. As we were seated, came a very beautiful woman. She was slim, blonde, very beautiful guys, like a supermodel. And she was wearing uh, a neat dress. You know, this neat dress for, for the beach. I'll put a photo here <laughs> so that you can see what I'm trying to talk. The kind of a girl, she was really beautiful. So those white boys, <laughs> they started making like noise, you know, admiring that woman saying that, oh my God, she's beautiful. Look at her. <sighs> Mm, you know all that kind of voices and my husband was like i wish the girlfriends could be here and listen to what these boyfriends are doing <laughs> so i was like oh even white men can do this so it is just the color guys only the color <laughs> the behavior matters a lot so do not ignore those red flags when you start your relationship when you are searching for a white man for marriage Number two advice, do not jump so quickly into bed with a man just because he is a white man. Like I've said, a white man can be a womanizer. A white man can play you. So do not jump so quickly into bed before you know his real intentions with you. Because one time I was chatting with a girl that wanted to meet a guy they've been chatting and <laughs> I asked this girl, you want to meet this guy? Uh, where are you going to sleep? She was like, we're going to sleep together. I was like, do not give him the goodies. Do not do that. Before you know his real intentions, you've been chatting. Is he talking to you about your relationship? What does he talk to you when he chats with you? And she was like, no, he's only talking about the vacation for now. I told her, be careful be careful because this man might be a sex tourist or he might just be curious how a black women <laughs> so do not lie yourself and jump quickly into bed with a white guy just because he's white he cannot cheat on you thinking that he will marry you if you show him that you're so good in bed in fact guys women are the same no matter the color they are the same i've done the research so and guys you can never convince a man to marry you by just showing him that you are good in bed no you have to show him you are a responsible woman you are a very intelligent woman and you know your value that's all a man will marry you for that but by showing him you're good in bed it will not work it is not special he can get that anywhere <laughs> especially where they sell <laughs> he can get that so do not cheapen yourself just because he is white i have another example <laughs> i was chatting with my friend this friend is married to an american a white guy and they met in africa so she told me that when they met uh they had few time that relationship had a very few time i think like a month or two weeks three there not more than a month and this guy invited her to dubai he was going to dubai and he told her that let's go to dubai together but my friend told him that i cannot go to dubai because i need to save so that i can have money for the ticket to go to dubai i cannot just go like that i don't have that money for the ticket and the guy told her that no i'll pay for you she told the guy that i cannot accept because i'm a woman that is used to pay my own bills so i'm not going to make you pay for my ticket and the guy went alone time went by and they got married <laughs> so after they've got married they were talking one day and do you know what the husband told her the husband told her that the day I knew that you are the one is that day that you told me you cannot go to Dubai if I pay for you. You want to pay for yourself. I knew that you are going to be a very good wife 
and a very good mother who will teach our kids good morals. You see guys, so if this friend of mine had accepted to go to Dubai on that man's money, it means that the guy could have changed his intentions. So we need to be very, very careful. We need to handle ourselves in a very good manner so that you can find the perfect man, the right man for you. But if you accept the favors, then you have to give your body in return because if someone gives you the favor, you have to return the favor by giving your body. And guys, a man who travels from Europe or from America to meet a girl in Africa and the same day you sleep with him, he's going to think a lot. He might even think that maybe you are selling or it is your behavior, how many white guys you have slept with. So guys, it is not a good idea. Do not jump so fast into bed with a guy just because he's white. I know if you are looking for a white man for marriage, some of you might be might be in these dating sites so in these dating sites sometimes you find men asking nude photos they want to see you naked they ask you for a photo if you send a photo maybe you're at the beach they tell you they want to see more <laughs> which means they want to see you naked and because you don't want to lose him because he's a white guy you're going to send your nude photos do not do it because we don't know where those photos will end it is bad and it is a very risk thing to do. Carry yourself in a very good way. Handle yourself like a woman, a woman who respects herself. And people will respect you. <laughs> Number three advice for you who is looking for a white man for marriage, be you, be yourself. Do not pretend because I assume that you are in this relationship with this guy or you are starting the relationship with this white man because you want him to marry you <laughs> so you don't need to pretend because if you pretend now it means you're going to pretend forever is that possible hell no and even if you do it you will live in misery so be you show your true colors if he likes you he will like you for who you are for what you have shown him if you're a talkative person talk 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 do not worry <laughs> he might like that and if you're a white person be you just be you so there is no need to pretend there is no need to try to be someone else that you are not just because a guy is white no 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 i'm against that i am not advising you that i am advising you i'm encouraging you to be you so i have an example story time <laughs> there is this girl that i know she talks a lot you can talk to an accent she cannot give you time to talk she talks a lot <laughs> so she went on a date with a white guy and when she went for a dinner date she became mute she did not talk much she pretended to be a quiet person and this thing really made the relationship not to work because they sat on a dinner table eating no one was talking to another the guy was asking questions and she was answering in a short way because she did not want to look talkative so she could answer in a short way and this thing disturbed the guy he even told her that am i boring <laughs> and then the girl was like no you're not boring no it's okay we're good i'm good i'm enjoying i'm happy to be here with you but in actions she was not showing that she was happy to meet this guy so the guy felt like the girl did not like her eventually he left her and she called me crying telling me that the guy has left me I was like what happened explain to me what happened why did he leave you <laughs> and she was like no when i when i went um, i tried not to talk much i told her why did you do that 
No, because I thought maybe if I talk too much, I might mess up things. I told her, no, you did wrong. You are supposed to be you. So that this guy can see the real you. Imagine chatting with a guy, a guy asking you, what are your hobbies? And then you tell him, you first. <laughs> What's that? So that you can copy and tell him the same hobbies so that you can see you share the same hobbies. You have common hobbies. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> be you be open speak your mind because if you do not do that and then this guy marries you you're going to be in trouble you want to be able to change you told him you like football in real sense you really hate football <laughs> and then he marries you thinking that you you will be sharing the hobbies and it is not true this will destroy your relationship later. So it is better to be open, be free, be you. So what I am advising you is be you, <laughs> show your true colors, but not in an exaggerated way. No, do not exaggerate, but be you. Don't be scared because he is white. No, it is just the color. <laughs> this one, guys. I used to think the same way back then, <laughs> but not now. And I know there are some women who think this way, not all, some. They still believe that all white men are rich. It's not true. Here in Europe, especially where I live, I live in Italy, there is all classes. There is rich, there is middle, there is poor, people who sleep in streets, they don't have where to sleep, people who don't have food to eat because they cannot afford to buy food, exist in Europe. And it's not that they are black, they are white men. So this shows clearly that not all white men are rich. For me, I used to think this way because of the white men who I used to see coming into my country for tourism. They sleep in expensive hotels, they live their luxury life while they are there. So when I used to see all that, I used to think that they are rich. But it is not that way, guys. Those people or those white men that come to Africa, that goes maybe to the Philippines, that goes maybe to everywhere around the world for vacation, it means that those vacations are budgeted. Those vacation people saved money for time so that they can go for those vacations. And when they're on vacation, of course, they have to spend because they had saved that money for that. And also another thing to remember, especially if you are a black woman, if you see any white man, if you see any white man staying in an expensive hotel or living luxury life, you know, clubbing, dashing money here and there, <laughs> do not think this man is rich. Do not think this white man is rich because he budgeted for that and not only that the currency changes if you change euro into tz shilling which is t shilling tanzanian shillings that money will become much of all if you change it to kenyan shillings it means that money is going to be much the things that he could do there in Africa, he cannot afford to do them here with the same amount of money. Totally different. So do not think these people are rich. <laughs> yes, there are rich men who go to Africa <laughs> for vacation, yes. But not all, not all that are rich, not all that you see spending there in Africa that they are rich. I know a guy who went to Tanzania because he was depressed and parents looked for a way to help their son so that he can feel better. What they came up with 
was to give a vacation to this guy to go to Tanzania, Africa, so that he can at least be a better person. Maybe if he travels, he's going to change his mind. He was even at a point of committing suicide. And unfortunately, guys, this guy met a girl there, impregnated her, and left her as a single mother, as we are talking now. And when this girl was trying to reach this guy in his country, the policeman told her that this man is declared as a disturbed person in the mind so he is not allowed even to be a parent he was there just because he was depressed and the parents offered him that vacation so you need to be really really careful not all white men that are rich my advice number five there are those women i've heard of many who say that i want any white man no matter the age even if he is 70 years old you find a girl is 20 years old 25 years old and she is telling you she can marry even a 70 years old white man and what they would tell you if they if you ask them more they will tell you because they want to take their money when they die this is the truth guys <laughs> <laughs> real talk they want to take their money when they die or they tell you <laughs> they just want that white man maybe because they will leave that man the important thing is that this old man marries her and then after that she's going to leave him girl you are lying to yourself you are lying to yourself and you who is 20 years old 25 years old thinking of marrying a 70 years old that is not love of course we will all get old we will reach there and an old man <laughs> is also a human being he is supposed to be loved that age gap is too much it's not love if you're watching this video and maybe you have ever lived with your grandparents you can understand what i'm trying to tell you it's not easy because when people get more old they even change the way they think everything you tell them they think that maybe because they are old you know i've lived with grandparents i know they are not my grandparents but there is a time I lived with my friend's grandparents and I can tell you guys it's not easy so if you think that you're going to get married to this white old man of 70 years old and plus and be happy you are wrong you are not God to know when this guy is going to die you are not God another thing is that here in Europe People really live so long. So you marry him at 70 years old, thinking he's gonna die soon, which is very wicked. <laughs> he will not die soon, guys. He is going to live for so long. You're going to take care of him, change his diaper and all that, until your life becomes very, very bad, very sad very miserable so do not do that yes you can marry an old man but the age shouldn't be so much like me i've married an old man but he is not all that old <laughs> to that age gap of 40 years 30 years guys that's too much and also if you want to take this guy's money you say that I want to take his money when he dies. He has his family. <laughs> his family is going to be after you when he dies. They want that money and you'll be left with nothing after a long period of suffering. So don't do that. Don't take that risk. 
if you want to live a very good life a very peaceful life marry a man that you love not because you want to take his money or you're going to leave him immediately after marrying you you will leave him and you know what will happen they're going to deport you because you don't have the papers and no one is going to approach you <laughs> because they'll ask you do you have the papers you don't then they will not date you it is hard to date in europe especially if you are black do not think it is going to be easy for you you just leave a man just like this and get another one it won't be easy you will find yourself deported so do not think of that just marry a man whom you love whom you are ready to spend your life with and if you want to go for old then prepare your mind think of what i have advised you number six if you are a woman who is looking for a white man for marriage and your intention or your goals is to help your family back home or in africa or in asia wherever you are if you are thinking of this that i'm going to get married to a white man white men are rich or i might find a rich man and be able to help my family back home i'm telling you it's not gonna be possible maybe you work and spend your money to send back home and not always because <laughs> there, there will be some men they will ask you what's your salary you have to help with the bills mm -hmm. <laughs> and also <laughs> it doesn't mean if a man is rich then he's gonna spend his money on you some rich men their money is their money and yours is yours or yours is both but his is his they exist but they are rich so do not think that he is rich he's gonna help me send money back home first of all it is not their culture it is not in their culture at all at all to help their families with money it is strange <laughs> one day i was talking to my husband and he was like if my sister or my brother calls me and tells me that he has a problem with money i might get depression i might not sleep that night because it's not normal and even if this sister or this brother has got a money problem he is not or she is not going to call and ask for help with money they are going to feel shy about it unless us africans we help each other a lot <laughs> that's our culture and i like it i really really like it but white men it's not their culture so forget about it don't think of that yes you might marry a man who is understanding he will accept to send money back home sometimes but not always not every month so if you are thinking of that if it is your major goal to get married to a white man then forget about it it's not gonna happen and you will be disappointed <laughs> and lastly guys some women are looking for white men for marriage just because of the things they see on social media like instagram people looking good slaying <laughs> you know and imagining that europe is so beautiful europe is all you know it's like paradise the truth guys i'll be a liar if i tell you europe is bad <laughs> i'll be a very big liar <laughs> yes europe is beautiful especially when it is spring and summer oh my god we really live life but when winter comes guys there is winter depression you feel lonely you feel so cold you really miss home and also it is not that everything is all that beautiful you live a lavish lifestyle <laughs> there is going to work you need to work imagine those winter morning 
full of snow you have to wake up go to work people wake up in the morning early in the morning at six and return very late at home very tired <laughs> also mothers who stay home with their kids it is work from morning till night there is no resting it is work 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 yes sometimes we slay yes <laughs> we have to slay guys we have to look beautiful we don't need to forget ourselves just because life is tough just because europe life you see it's not easy as it might seem so do not be surprised when you come to europe or when you are married to a white guy and you see things are different that lavish lifestyle you don't see it as wearing brands you know that kind of lifestyle traveling all around the world you don't see it happening it's because these things happen to few who are fortunate yes there are those women who are fortunate they are married to rich guys but if you are married to a rich guy like i said again <laughs> It depends with the character. Some rich guys can be weird. Some of them like both men and women. Some of them, like I said, they have money, yes, but you'll never see a coin. <laughs> but they are rich, so you have to accept the packages that comes with this rich guy. But what I'm trying to tell you guys, Europe life isn't all that easy. It's tough, it's hard. Yes, it's beautiful. We enjoy the weather when it's good and when it's bad, it's depression. You feel like I should go back home right now, pack my bags and leave. <laughs> so that is how things are. Life is normal. If you're married to a normal guy, life is just normal guys, nothing special just normal that's why i told you pray to god to give you the man that loves you for who you are that truly truly loves you and the one that you truly love but not because he's white or he is rich mm -hmm.